good morning everyone so today we will going to uh, start another um, next lecture of the radar series as we will going to see last few weeks we are actually giving you the full concept and idea about how you are going to process the radar so in this series you are already learn about how to target the water body and how to uh, target a uh, flooded area okay so in that series now we will going to get some idea about the two concept we will going to understand one is the uh, whenever you are going to work over the agriculture so mostly in agriculture we required a multi date images okay so as multi date images i don't have much so only 3 days i have the multi date image so three uh, different days but you just usually we required at least 17 to 18 a different date image to monitor a proper crop growth okay so i will going to give you a demonstrations over to understanding how we will going to do the batch processing over the multi date images okay and how we will going to process those data sets uh, inside uh, this particular um, snp and then how we will going to take it in arcgis pro the same way which you already describe it okay but our main focus is to here to understand a specific crop growth if you want to create a kind of uh, the temporal profile usually we call as a phenology profile if you want to see <coughs> okay then how we will going to do that so that is our main concept here okay so that we will try to understand from this particular exercise so let's start so as you see uh, i have few data sets which i am just going to uh, drag and drop those three data sets suppose i have the three data of three different dates okay near to the bangalore uh, if you know that is a city but as it this uh, swath area is very big so i will going to select some particular uh, area which is basically the agriculture okay so i am just taking the three dates image and just i am adding with my snp now you just see here i already added all this three dates image with my proper means uh, place and so that i just want to see uh, a proper uh, the analysis which i am going to do it over here okay so that is basically what the three dates but you just think if you want to do over some agriculture crop you should require at least <coughs> 16 to 17 image for last Four months or six months, whatever the the temporal data sets you will get, so you have to take them for your analysis. Okay. So anyway, uh, first the main thing which we're going to understand from this exercise that is how we're going to run the batch process over the la means lot of data sets, lot of radar images. Okay. Like if you already seen uh, as I am going to show you over the SLC product. So SLC already uh, there is so many steps we are actually going to do. as you seen uh, if you go for the grd then it will be better because uh, there is a less steps you have to do for that okay but anyway i have the slc product so i am going to show you the demo of the slc or if you have the grd then you can go for the grd product only that the processing steps you are, whatever i showed you before how to process the grd data you can go accordingly okay but here the main process is we are not going to do the manually one by one by steps here we are going to create a model and using that particular model we will try to uh, run all these steps okay so how we'll going to uh, create and run this model so first you see here i have this data okay and here what basically we have to do that is we have to create a grub board so you just see here under the toolbox we have this grub builder okay so i just created the grub builder in this grub builder read is automatically whatever the data sets you have it will coming as a read and write is your output files means whatever the model you will run that is coming as your output okay so first steps over the slc usually we do so if you just right click over that particular black and white screen then it will come just go to the add then go to the radar okay and in the radar the first steps will be the sentinel stop splits so splitting you have to do so sentinel tops okay so tops are uh, split you just see why it is there so tops are split this is the first steps very first steps which i run over here okay so you can make this like this so you can adjust your model properly okay so now the next steps over this that we usually we applied over uh, slc product that is orbital file okay so just right click on this go to the data okay go to the radar and see apply orbital file this options will be there so click on that so next steps which will come and you can go for the next steps 
so next steps after orbital file what you have to do that is the calibrations okay so it is just like a repeat okay whatever class i did for the last two weeks okay so that is basically you will get an idea about what are the steps i am doing single single but now it is a repeat of all those things so that you can understand very clearly here also okay so you just see here i am just going for the next steps that will be the calibration okay so i am just go through the radar okay so geometric and we have to see radar radiometric and we have the calibration so i'm just clicking on this and now i have the calibrated window the next important step over the calibrations the next steps which we usually do that is the uh, uh, debusting okay so to clearing the the lines over this image radar images so radar sentinel one tops and a sentinel one tops debust okay tops are debust so i'm just selecting that now it was fine the next important thing which you have to do because the radar images is not will get a square pixel so for the square pixels we have to convert it in a multi look so i'm just going for the next steps right click and okay radar and then utilities and you have to get this multi look so select the multi look and then final steps final steps will be you have to you have to do the geometric corrections for your image so that will be your terrain corrections no? so just right click and radar geometrics okay terrain corrections so under this terrain corrections you can take this terrain corrections and you can add it with your image okay so you can uh, you can make it like this no problem okay so now one more things which you usually do that is linear 2 db transformation so you just right click add radar okay so you have to check the full model where it is okay so that is we are going to do it over here okay so for this you have to go to radar okay so and you just see not an optical okay one minute raster okay so under raster you have to go to the raster and then you have to go to data conversion okay and then there is a linear 2 db so this is the another steps which you have to do okay so now the main question is how we will make a connection between all this this total model so you just see here this is a red thing will come you just in and drop it over the next steps okay so like that you have to connect all the steps one by one by one okay so i'm just doing that okay so i'm just doing that so for this you can select like this and for this you can select like this and then final output you have to select like this so this is basically it will connect it all the models together and you just see here under this you will get to see all the models here properly okay so you can able to see all the models properly okay so now here also you can select it accordingly over the full images whatever the batch process you want to do from here also you can manage or whenever i am going to do the batch process uh, that time also you can adjust all these parameters okay but this i am not going to run so what i have to do i have to save this model okay so how we going to save this grub builder or you can save the model so you can click on this save option and wherever you want to save now so this is the grub builder i am just giving a name as a agriculture suppose okay so that i give a name and i will save this so this is how uh, i just saved my model this is the slc product i am doing okay so it's not a gid products okay this is the slc product agriculture model which i just uh, prepared it okay so uh, if you just see here now what we will going to do so once you save it uh, see the model is saved now i have to do uh, the next steps so that is basically we are going to do the batch processing over that so that tool you have this batch processing option okay the first things which you have to do that is you have to add all these parameters so simply click on this plus button so all the different dates whatever you have okay so that will going to add with this particular image okay so now uh, you can go to this load graphs and whatever the graphs you are prepared now so select it and click on okay so now it will going to add all the information just see here all the informations it will going to add with this particular graph so first things see uh, usually for the top starts what we usually do we are taking that particular 
the parts where we have the agriculture so here are th three different uh, parts here in YW mode okay so usually I go for the so this is for the the Bangalore city and this is we have the separate outside the town of that particular area okay so that I am just selecting it if you want for the both polarizations then you can go for it okay but uh, yes okay I am taking the both polarization as of now okay and then you can go for this basting so usually we as you seen in my last classes also I did this for the 4 to 8 so I am just taking the same thing okay this is the first things which we have to do next is uh, your applying orbit okay so or you can say you can check properly so this is first one then it's the apply orbit okay so apply orbit what you have to do it here you need to select this one do not fail uh, okay the new orbital file so that you have to check on okay then you can go for the next steps okay like calibrations obviously i think okay calibrations so you want to apply the calibrations over the both uh, that particular sensor like bb and zh for polarizations okay so that you select or you want to calculate the sigma naught so that only i'm just selecting it then come to the dbus dbus you want to apply over the both polarizations that you check multi looks you can change your parameters whatever you want or else i am just giving this range look as a four and uh, azimuth is one for this purpose and then the terrain corrections so whatever the terrain corrections you want to apply so that basically the dam using the dam that is srtm dam that only i am just applying it i am not changing anything and finally i am changing it to the linear 2 db okay and the output final output so final outputs wherever you want to save you can select that particular locations okay so usually first you things which you have so as you seen uh, now i already uh, given all the steps as I showed you for the last uh, file and uh, finally we are actually going to save all the data in this particular locations ok. So let us uh, wait for results and we will going to see the next part ok. So as you seen uh, now my all these processes whatever I did the, 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 the batch processing ok uh, if you see the lot of steps ok just it will give you within a 6.25 uh, minute all the results which will come and it will the final results is actually shown here. So, if I close it ok so and you just check these are the final results of the outputs ok. So, these all are corrected ok like geometrically corrected data ok so of that particular radar band. So, if I just click on this any band ok so you can able to see for this band for VV you can able to see uh, this is another VB bands of that and this is the last one there is a another band of the VB. So, all these VB bands are opening separately ok. So, what we need to do we need to do the stack of all these different three different date bands you can able to see these are the three different date bands ok three different date bands. So, that we have to do now stacking ok. So, then we can get a comparison we can create a color composite over the SAR images ok. So, there is a different way to creating the composite. So, that we will going to see how we will going to create a composite with the different bands and how we will going to create a composite of a different dates ok. So, let us see the uh, next part how we will going to do that to to doing the stacking you have to go to this uh, radar ok code registrations ok and you can see here stack then you have this tool is called create stack ok. So, before actually doing these steps uh, see if I click on this plus now so all the data sets which will come out ok, but we did not require all this data. So, whatever data sets you just required ok. So, what you will do you just make it only uh, those data sets be here ok. So, click on all these three ok and then close these three products ok. So, whatever your left products will be there you can use it for the creating stacks. So, go to the uh, radar co registrations ok stack and click on the create stacks ok and under this you have options click on this three add the three dates ok. So, you just see 31st Jan 27 October 12th Jan ok. So, like that it was there ok. So, you can uh, make it like this and then uh, what you have to do you just need to go to this create stack ok it's create orbital stacks and uh, you can change this to the product geolocations ok. So, this is you have to make it the product geolocations. So, this is actually the way to do that or uh, you can set it according to the dates also ok. 
So during the saving what you have to do that you just remember that you just see uh, your locations wherever you want to save your data that should be in a perfect okay place and then see uh, here it is uh, date is also mentioned for this but as you know this is not uh, any kind of uh, stag image of uh, any kind of uh, date image so what you need to do you just remove this date okay and in this you can type uh, that particular name as a all stack stack of these three dates okay so that's why i'm just giving a name as all stack okay so then we can identifying this data very nicely now nah, that's why so let's run and wait for the results okay so i'm just running it and waiting for the results so as you've seen now this processing is completed so that we can uh, going to see the stack and we will going to create a composite okay so let's see that so if you want to see it is properly stacked or not so if you see uh, just expand it and expand the bands and you just see here all the dates okay 12th jan 26 october 2019 and 31st jan is perfectly stacked with the all the polarizations like vv and vh okay so both the polarizations you will get it here okay so now we will going to see how we will going to create a composite from this okay so let's see that okay so to creating this color composites what you are to do it is it you already seen in my last videos also like we have to go to the windows okay and then we have to open the rgb image window and in image window you just see here already at uh, the vh of 31st jan is selected vv of the 31st jan 2020 is selected okay so this is first composite we are going to create in a single date with the different um, uh, kind of polarizations okay so we are going to create the composite and you just see here this down one we can make it one one more uh, means uh, kind of a band which is actually the uh, difference band between these two okay so let's do that and we will see how we're going to create this uh, difference band okay to creating this difference uh, you just click over this one okay and you just see you need to uh, remove this one click on the difference and select this one as a VH and you can select this one as a VV okay so now click on okay you just see expression is valid so if expression is valid so simply click on okay and you just see you can very nicely create a composite over uh, the band combinations which we are actually did for the VV VH and the differences between the vv and vh of the same date okay so this is we are actually creating with the same date composites now uh, see uh, the here also you can see agricultural land different different uh, variations we will going to see but now there is one more things which we will going to check that is the how we are going to create the same things over a different date okay so let's see how we are going to do that okay so this is the one one kind of uh, polarization you are actually sorry one kind of composite you are creating so now you want to create one more composite so that you can create from here okay so you can go to the windows open rgb windows now this time you can create with the different uh, dates okay but same polarization value you can take as a considerations okay so for that suppose i'm just going to take the first band as suppose the the two uh, the vv i am just going to create okay so first one we i am just taking the 12th jan 2019 this date sec one i am just going to take 27th october okay vv 2019 okay 27th october vv 2019 12th jan 27 october 2019 and now this one will be the january 2020 okay so the same vv see all the three vv bands okay so that's i'm just taking it as a considerations so simply click on okay so there is a another kind of composite you can able to create over it okay you just see here okay so different date and you can you can able to see a different kind of composite over this particular bands okay so, so this is the way of how we are going to create a composite over a different dates and over a different polarizations okay so now we'll see the next steps also now the next things which we are going to do we are going to create a, a kind of a, a time series okay and we have to see for the each pixels how it is growing and uh, decisions is actually going up okay so for this you have to go to this uh, view 
toolbox okay and uh, then uh, you have to go to this time series options okay so see this time series actually came so what you have to do you have to add all these things from here as you already run it that's why it is sh showing like that okay so or, or else uh, you have to add all the bands and then you have to stack this uh, that stack band is also coming with this actually by default okay so what you have to do you minus the stack band and you have to click on apply and okay okay so that you have to do first and then uh, what you have to do you can come to this okay this filter and whatever see this is now vh is showing now so if you want to see the for the vv so you can click on the vv and then you can take it and uh, you can click over it and then it will going to show you for that also okay so that is the process actually how we are actually going to take see here now see it is coming over this particular uh, uh, you can say that particular pixels but as my dates are less okay so that's why this curve is coming so stiff so if you want to go for the multiple dates okay so so many days suppose 17 or 18 dates you are actually taking for the considerations then it will give you a very good results over your data okay so you can get a particular uh, some particular crops if you have the gps points okay so you can take that gps points over that particular crops and you just point out your uh, this particular uh, pointer over that particular points okay so that you can able to see the crop phenology curve over a certain period of time so this all curves if it will be something like up uh, like this okay so like this so if you see if it is we can consider like this type of curve so this is you can say it is a growing sessions then is a pick sessions and then it is a harvesting sessions so curve phenology curves will be coming like this way for a different crop so this is the way how we are going to do the analysis over the the different crop over the SAR data and you can do this classification in ArcGIS Pro after uh, getting informations from this okay like once you created this all curves and you are identifying this for all this particular uh, pixels okay and then you can go to your ArcGIS Pro and simply do the classifications using taking help of that particular GPS points so that is all from my side so I hope uh, you will like this video so I am just requesting you if you like this video please uh, <laughs> give like and subscribe my channel so I will come with the so many interesting lectures in the coming uh, days thank you thank you very much.